Welcome to the question and answer session for teaching practical science chemistry. While there have been no specific questions at the end of this course, Louise and I would like to pick up on a couple of threads uh, and elaborate on them a little bit. So uh, to start off with the use of microscale practicals. Microscale practicals will be really useful when it comes to the catch up curriculum. Students able to undertake individual work on small scale will have greater impact than if students were to be working in pairs or watching videos. So Microscale practicals could be quick, they're often lower cost, and they're easy to set up. You can find more information about uh, microscale practicals on our resources section. You could also seek further guidance from uh, providers such as uh, CLEEPS if you're in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, or CERC if you're in Scotland. Over to Louise. Yes, I just wanted to pick up on some recent research about the use of effective demonstrations in science lessons. This research was done last year in response to the lack of practical being done in some schools due to the COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions. It was very interesting actually to see what they looked at when it came to demonstrations. And some key things we've covered in this course came up as really, really key ideas that, that made the difference when it came to student understanding. The first one being having a clear purpose for a demonstration. So knowing in your head why you're doing a practical and what you want to bring out of that particular practical. Also, the second sort of facet of it was that we need to be really careful about the questions we ask. Now, if you've set your purpose really clearly, then the type of question you ask in lessons should be aligned to that purpose. So if you're thinking about a particular science concept, your question should be based around that concept and focused on that and not other things that are going on in the demonstration. It also brings up a little bit of a challenge for practical work, and that's if we're so effective in demonstrations because of having focused questions, maybe we should be bringing that into practical work as well.